The first point is that updated Photon S can print eight specified models once at one time with different exposure parameters. If you don't know the best exposure time for the resin you are using, you can print the specified model file. Print 8 test models at one time with different exposure parameters. Default exposure time settings are 4, 5, 6 to 11 seconds or 5, 6, 7 to 12 seconds and so on. For the old mainboard, only one model can be printed at a time. New mainboard by contrast. 8 models at one time brings you a better printing experience. Compare the printing results and decide what will be the best exposure time for the resin. The print precision varies with exposure time. Choose the one you want. The second point is that the slicing software supports anti-aliasing. High anti-aliasing means high precision. Slicer software provides 3 anti-aliasing segments. Two, four, or eight. The larger the number, the better the anti-aliasing effect, which means upgraded Photon S do a better job of capturing fine details and flawless surface. Preview function available after slicing. This is the third upgrade. You can modify the exposure time of single layer and lift all four parameters. In slice the file view, click Use Individual Parameter. Modify the print parameters of the current layer and save it as a new print file. The fourth point is to add a new feature to clean out residue resin quickly. When the print is complete, you can find there's a lot of small cured resin pieces on the bottom of the vat. It is hard to clean out. First, leave the vat in printer for an hour. Then click Tools and Next Detection and set the exposure time between 40 seconds and 60 seconds. When the exposure is over, you can easily scoop up the solidified resin that's stuck to the bottom. 